when we initially go like to the actual ICYC, especially on Fridays, they're kind of, the youth are holding back. They're not mingling. They're just kind of looking around, arms folded. And then maybe in the evening, you start seeing them, hearing them talk, expressing, asking questions. But then by Saturday, they're, they're into it. They, they want to participate. They want to talk about um, things that are happening. They want, they make friends. They want to um, sing and dance and adoration is a big point for them. And then the possibilities of, of the opportunities to confess are also very, very much into them. They see other kids, they see other um, cultures, maybe not, you know, because we live in a small community here and everybody knows everybody, but when we go out there, it's bigger, they see other kids, it's not just the same ones. And for many of them, it's actually the first time they go anywhere by themselves for a trip or anything. So that all plays into them evolving and opening up and um, encountering God there. It, it just makes a big difference from what they can experience here. Even even though we try to duplicate it here, we do have retreats and we, we give them what we learn over there and, and do different activities. The, the, the amount of youth that are there influences the, our youth immensely because they, they feel like a group, they feel like a community, they feel part of something. It's not um, just something small here, it's something bigger over there and they can bring that with them.